Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. So today I want to talk about how to start a football academy business in the UK. So a lot of the audience that watch our YouTube channel, a lot of them are based in the UK and every single day I'm getting questions from, from coaches that are entering uh, this industry who are looking to start up a football academy business. So I want to make this video nice and short. And I want to break down four things, four really important things that you will need in order to start your football academy business in the UK. Now, if you're in another part of the world and you're watching this video, the four steps I'm going to share with you can relate to the, the market and to the country you are in as well. OK, so here they are. The, the four more, most important things when I think about starting a football academy business. That number one is setting up the business legally. So if you're in the UK, the first thing I would I want you to do is get in contact with an accountant in your local area. A lot of accountants offer a free consultation call. So shop around, get in contact with an accountant, get on a call with them and explain what type of business you are looking to set up and get some proper legal advice from them, which will be able to lead you in a better direction into what type of business to set up. Okay, In the UK, there's, there's a number of different ways you can set up your business legally. Okay, You can go, either go through the, the self-employed route or you can set up a private limited company those are two of of many ways okay but the best way best thing to do and number one is get in contact with an accountant speak to them and get proper legal advice on setting up your business in the uk right the second one is opening a business account okay so say you have your business already set up legally now we need to get our football academy uh, business account opened up. Okay. Now there's a lot of different options out there for different uh, banks that you can set up a business account. With our academy that we run here in the UK, we have a business account set up with Revolut. So if you contact Revolut, explain to them what you're looking to do. They will be able to to point you in the right direction to how to set up a business account uh, legally, right? Also, there's a number of other companies out there, okay? It doesn't have to be the a, a big high street bank, right? It can be an online bank as well that you can, they have a lot of offers where if you open a, a business account with them, they'll, they'll set you up with a 50 pound credit, okay? Now, when I was setting up my business, what I did is my accountant that I worked with, he had a partnership with a number of banks. Okay, so the good thing of it was when, when I went to open a business account, I did it through one of the partnerships that my accountant had with those companies. So as a client of his, I got a lot of perks with opening up a business account with a company such as Revolut or another company that specialize in banking. Okay, so shop around again and see where you can get a business account set up. Okay, that will give you a lot of perks to having the account there. Okay, so you've set up your, your business legally. Now you need to set up set a business account up so that you can start receiving money and paying for business expenses through that company account. Now, a lot of coaches, what they do at the beginning, they use everything through their personal bank account. That's fine. But the problem is when you start to grow and scale, okay, it becomes very untidy okay, and it becomes very difficult to track what is a business expense and what is a personal expense? When you have a business account, those are two different things, right? You've got your business account, which is everything to do with your business. Everything goes in and out through that account. 
and then your personal account is for personal expenses that you can't write off through tax tax expenses okay so having a business account and a personal account it helps to keep keep things separate and it also helps when it comes to doing your taxes at the end or every quarter depending on how you file your taxes okay now the third one is finding a consistent location so when i first started my business once i had everything set up legally once i had a, a business account set up where clients can now start to pay me next thing i did was i looked for a consistent location that i could run all my training sessions out of so what i did is i went onto google and i googled every facility every venue in my local area every park that i could run training sessions out of right i started off training at a park and as i started to grow we then moved on into a 4g training uh, pitch okay, so you might do something very similar you might start off as, at your local park running your sessions once you start to get a lot of clients and you can start to afford to hire out a, a venue okay then we look to upgrade and move on to something which is an astroturf that you can use all year round for your training now something i would also recommend you do is that when you are looking to hire or rent out a facility always speak to the decision maker whether it be the facility manager or someone that is in charge where you can tell them and talk to them about what you're looking to do because if you explain to them this is what i do this is how much i charge this is how many clients i'm currently working with they might be able to prorate their prices based on your situation okay i did this once at a local cricket club it was the summer season and what i found out is that cricket clubs during the mornings on on saturdays they they had fantastic uh, training facilities but they weren't being used in the morning because most of their games were happening in in the late afternoon so i spoke with one of the directors at my local cricket club and i explained to them are we able to use your facilities to do our training sessions in the morning because we really like them there's also access to a bar there was also access uh, to toilets so it worked out really well and we came to came to an agreement and they gave me a really good price where i was able to run all my training sessions during the the spring and summer at this specific venue okay so when it got to the winter i had enough money saved up that then we can tra we, we transitioned our training to 3g or 4g uh, pitch okay but another option for you is look at your local cricket club most of their facilities are really really nice okay they look after them very well and most of their events happen late in the afternoon so if you do your training sessions in the morning they might be able to give give you a really good discount where you can train and do stuff with your clients at that at their venue and also have access to to their indoor space which has toilets a bar if you want to do some some workshops during the morning as well you can do that a chalk and talk a tactical session with your clients okay research local venues okay use google get on google research loads of different venues within your local area and speak to decision makers and see what kind of agreement that you guys can come to in order to rent out their fields okay now the fourth one is marketing and now getting clients so we have our business set up legally we have opened our business account for our football academy we now have a consistent location where we're going to run all our training sessions out of for our football academy next bit now is getting and marketing uh, to parents to get new clients okay now if you need help on this then what i would recommend is visit the description of this video you can get in contact with me a number of ways 
that I connect with coaches now. You can either book a call with me via Zoom, where it's a 15, 20 minute call. We'll jump on Zoom, see where you're at with your business, see where you want to get to, and I can answer any questions you may have. Or if you just want to send me questions to my email, you can do that as well. Send it to makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com. Okay, so if you have any questions in terms of client acquisition, uh, closing clients, marketing, promoting your program, your football academy, get in contact with me. Those are the, the ways that you can do that. Okay, so the four ways to start your football academy business in the UK are number one, set the business up legally. Number two is open a business account so you can start getting paid into that account. It will also help you when you come to do your taxes. Three, find a consistent location. Okay, so this might be a power league, a goals. This might be a, your local leisure center. This might be a local school. This might be a local park. Find somewhere where you can consistently run your training sessions on a weekly basis out of. And then the fourth one, now we've got to start to get clients and market our business. Okay. So again, if you want to contact me, there's a couple of ways to do that. Visit the description of the video. You can get in contact with me through there. Book a call or I can answer any questions you may have via either WhatsApp or via email. Okay. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Every 48 hours, I'm putting out content to help you with your training business. Okay, thank you for watching and also make sure you subscribe to our channel.